How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be giving you a brief rundown on the Sunslinger subclass for Warlock by showing you the main powers that you're probably going to be using, which is Radiant, Scorch and Solar Grenade. I've actually unlocked them all, so in a few days I'll be making a video on every single power and ability and giving you my thoughts on them. Today I'll be showing you Scorch with Flame Shield, Radiance with Radiant Skin and also the Solar Grenades with Touch of Flame. The Solar Grenade's quite similar to the Void Walker Vortex Grenade and if you have Touch of Flame on it's going to carry on burning your enemy after they've left the area of a Effect. It can kill enemies outright, can help you get rid of their shields and it can also work in combination with the Warlock Melee. And the Warlock Melee is Scorch which basically burns your enemy over time. Scorch can sometimes help you kill your enemy even when you've lost the battle as they're going to be taking damage over time. With Flame Shield every time you activate Scorch you're going to get a full shield which will allow you to get a few more kills without going down. Oh. Sunslinger Super is called Radiance and what it does is massively decrease the cooldowns of all your abilities. This can allow you to string together loads of different attacks and it does also seem to increase the damage as well. You'll see that Scorch basically turns into a one hit kill in PvP. In my opinion if you want to make the most of this you want to have a discipline build with at least 150 discipline so you can recharge your grenades really really quickly. Overall the Sunslinger class is a lot of fun to play and it's also really effective so I'd definitely advise you to level it up. The class only really becomes good about halfway through unlocking all the abilities so don't get put off by the early levels. Even if you really like the Voidwalker subclass and you want to carry on using that for the Crucible, I'd definitely recommend levelling up Sunslinger just for PvE and that's because it can output so much more damage so it's definitely worth it. This is a level 12 heroic mission called the Shrine of Oryx and I'm basically doing this to get two bounties, one of which is a 30 melee killstreak. If you want to see the Sunslinger cast up against really difficult opposition, definitely watch my Sunbreakers Gauntlets video where I'm in a Vanguard Tiger Strike. If you've got any questions about the Sunslinger subclass, definitely let me know in the comments section. And like I said, I'll be making a video reviewing every single one of these abilities on the weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Let me out under the shrine. I'll look for a weakness. It's tethered to a power far beyond the edge of the system. If I just find a way to break the link... Let's just hope we don't get sucked into some trans-dimensional vortex.